What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Overkill Garage YouTube channel. Um, today is gonna be a little bit different. I normally, um, I guess, show you guys, you know, be working on some cars, you know, like the Escalade lights. I know that was one of the videos I was pretty much liked a lot. And also, um, the Lexus radio install. Um, so, I'm still fairly new to the old YouTube, um, I guess, uploading. Um, so I'm, not, I'm still kind of finding my way um, to figure out what I want, what type of content I want to show you guys, but definitely is um, car related things. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys this uh, Harbor Freight glass cabinet, um, it's like a 40 pound glass cabinet that I've been working on for um, a couple of days. I'm actually here at work, I've been here all the machines outside. I do a high voltage machine uh, maintenance for uh, stone cutting uh, here in Hollywood, California. But, um, so I work on this uh, pretty much on my lunch break, but I'll show you guys pretty much where I'm at. I know um, so it, is a, it is the 40 pound capacity one. Um, and if you guys have been looking for this one, because I know this is kind of like the cheap entry one, it's not the tabletop, it's actually one that stands up. Um, so, so basically, um, that's what it is right there. Um, Basically, this is the cheapest one that you can get into if you want to get into like cabinet blasting. It's, you know, taxes out the door and stuff like that. Um, it's about 200 bucks. I had a coupon in there for about 180 ish, somewhere around there, for adding the box. Even though um, the glass is missing out of it, so it's an empty box that they gave me. Um, that's, you know, that's a few bucks. I have a few places that's all the values. But, um, so I'm going to be sand blasting some wheels, so I bought some for the 67 Mustang. Um, also, I did receive the wide body flares for that as well, so um, look out for some videos coming up on that. It's a 7 wide body build. Um, so the wheels are 19 inch. A uh, 19 inch wheel would not fit in here, and I'll show you why. Well, now it does, but I'll show you why. So, basically, um, when you buy this, it doesn't come with all this other steel you see up here. It's just this red part here, um, and that cover, which is down right there. That one is actually mounted here to the back. So it's, it's fairly small. So the problem with this is, so this is the open one. So it's about 20 and a quarter on the high end. The door is about 16 and a half. So my Mustang wheels are 19 by 11. It was not gonna fit. So, what I ended up doing, just to show you guys, I don't want to prolong this video. Um, I got this, um, these iron pieces from Home Depot. Um, only a few bucks, I think like maybe like six bucks or something like that, which is this is one piece, on the other side is one piece, and then this is another piece. So it's about 18 bucks, 20 bucks with taxes and stuff like that, just to build this frame up here. Um, but now, you guys now this is normally where the where the support sits at a lot of people cut them out and they just get rid of it and they just run the mesh three inches lower than this which I'm not gonna do I'm fine here so so measuring this from the support which we're where the wheels gonna be sitting at right about 30, 34 and a quarter. So definitely can fit the wheel in here. Width wise, about 21 and a half. And then obviously it's not it's not squared up, so so it's gonna be at 34 and a half. So you can fit a lot of wheels in here now. And um, the way that I'm gonna set it up, I'm showing you guys this frame and how I have it now. We just gonna get a profile of it. Um, so what I'm going to set up is on top here, I have another piece of um, straight, I guess straight steel. It's a uh, one inch wide by one eighth thick. That's going to go straight across on top. And then another one kind of at this angle. So it'll make that curve. Uh, the top's going to just be sheet metal. Um, maybe another support in the middle just so it doesn't sag, which I doubt it will. But um, we're also going to, I'm, I'm also going to silicone it all the way around, make no dust. And the other piece is gonna run right here across that I talked about. Um, that's gonna hold the piano hinge. The piano hinge is the one that I can make it whatever length I want it all the way across. And um, 
I'm gonna run some, some new foam sealant here all the way across the perimeter. And then this little guy, this door, um, it sits here across like that. So when you're actually standing up, you know, you're standing up and you're looking at the cabinet and you're blasting like this. And then once you're done, you can always just flip this open and then you'll be able to take the wheels out or whatever parts. I'm, I'm really gonna be doing them, um, you know, like the, the, the suspension parts and you know, whatever little stuff here and there on the Mustang, but um, also different wheels. I, I, I interchange wheels a lot. And then, you know, having the ability to actually change color wheels because I am gonna be building my own um, oven for powder coating as well, which is one reason why I actually got this. Um, but yeah, there it is. So. Let's just call this um, part one of the Harbor Freight build, um, or Harbor Freight um, blast cabinet build. Um, that'll be it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any more questions over there, I mean, if you guys have any more questions, um, feel free to ask below in the comment section. Um, to the best of my ability, I'll, you know, if you guys want some dimensions off of this, um, I'll shoot them to you guys or whatever it is. Um, no problem, but that's a start right there. Um, this is something else I've also been working on. So basically, this is just uh, electric hoist. Um, I made some L brackets, obviously. Uh, a little bit of one inch bolt on the bottom. And then this is gonna sit on an ID. Sometimes when I work on stuff in here, I need to hang it up there. I need to like, kind of pick it up here and then pull it, put it on my table, actually work on it more comfortably. So that's something else I'm working on, also hard to break. But yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the bottom in the comment section. Um, and if you guys want to continue this build, you know, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll try to get some more content out, but this will just be part one. Part two, I'll go ahead and I'll get the rest of the sheet metal on there, all the frame and everything like that. And then most likely part three will probably be um, an overview after I get all the other stuff from um, extra lighting, um, a, new blast, a new blast nozzle and stuff like that for it. Um, and yeah, so like I said, if you guys like it, subscribe, comment down below, smash the like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.